Now, News 3 Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Welcome to Saturday Sports Extra. On the way, the SLU men's basketball team tries their luck in Las Vegas. But first, we begin with the last game of the regular season for the SIU football team, the Salukis, looking for their 10th straight win, and they would have to do it against the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks. The shortest road trip of the season for the Dogs and their fans. The Salukis jumped out on top quickly in the opening drive. Paul McIntosh takes it in from 15 yards out to make it 7-0 SIU. Second quarter now, the Dogs scored two touchdowns in the span of two and a half minutes, starting to flex their muscle. McIntosh to Bryce Morris from 10 yards out. 21-0 Salukis at the half. Southeast cut it to 28-10 in the third, but the Salukis answered right back. Deji Kareem takes it 70 yards for the score, 35 to 10 SIU. Kareem finished with 155 yards rushing and two touchdowns. The Red Hawks wouldn't say give up, though they went, didn't go down without a fight. William Castro picks off McIntosh and takes it back 14 yards for the score, cutting the lead to 11, but the number one ranked Salukis answer McIntosh goes in for the three-yard plunge, his fourth touchdown of the day as SIU finishes the regular season 10-1, winning 42-24. We got off slow, and um, you know everybody's on that sideline looking at each other like, we need to get going, you know? And, um, just got a spark lit up underneath us on that sideline, and uh, everybody had each other back from there, and got it, got it going. Their record didn't look impressive, but they played everyone tough, and that's exactly what happened to us. Uh, we knew they had a good run game, and, and they did a good job executing that against us. Uh, you know, the time of possession was something that we struggled with, and that gave us some problems and, uh, you know, made us fight for uh, the game at the end. So SIU wins 42-24. Deji Curry and becomes just the fourth running back in school history to break 1,500 yards rushing in a season. Senior Brandon Jordan leads the Saluki defense with 11 tackles and one sack. Since the regular season is over with, SIU can now think about what seed they will get in tomorrow's selection show. If they get one of the top two seeds, it will give the Dogs home field advantage throughout the playoffs up until the national championship game. But after a season opening loss to Division I Marshall, the Salukis ran the table winning 10 straight games to go along with the Missouri Valley Conference title. Add in the fact that the Dogs are ranked first in the country right now, and the Salukis think they have a legitimate shot for the number one spot in the playoffs. I feel we made our case for the top seed, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we've been unranked before without a top seed and coming to playoffs and wreaked havoc, and uh, it's my last year, so I'm not accepting nothing less. I feel like, you know, we're, we're a team to beat, but like I said, we want to focus on ourselves, and. You know, uh, taking one game at a time. I think we deserve one of the top two, and, and if we don't get one, I mean, actually, you'll be disappointed. That, um, but it still comes down to you got to win that first game, uh, regardless. And uh, you know, so I'm not going to get too uptight about anything. Uh, you know, I just want to know who we're playing and start getting ready for game week. And so you can check out who will, the dogs will play tomorrow. Coverage starts at two o'clock on ESPN News. That's when the selection show will start. It'll be at Copper Dragon. If you want to join the team, the doors will open at 1 o'clock. And so just how many Missouri Valley teams will make the postseason? Northern Iowa and South Dakota State both needed wins today. And in a battle of backup quarterbacks, Northern Iowa knocked out of the playoffs on a last-minute score by Illinois State. Panther starter Pat Grace and the Redbirds' Matt Brown knocked out in the first half with injuries. 22-20 Illinois State in a stunner. Meanwhile, South Dakota State should get an at-large bid tomorrow with their 27-7 win over Western Illinois. And Youngstown State rallies late to edge North Dakota State 39-35. to well, after today's SIU football game, Paul McIntosh was all smiles. The redshirt freshman quarterback accounted for four Saluki touchdowns on the day, including three rushing. But what really got him gushing afterwards was his younger brother, Matthew, who last night engineered an Evansville Wrights upset of nationally ranked Indianapolis Cathedral in the Indiana High School State Semifinals. The Panthers routed top-ranked Cathedral 31-10. to It's a familiar story for the McIntosh family as two years ago, Paul accomplished the same feat for Wrights on his way to a 4A state title. His brother's body of work last night, 11 of 14 for 251 yards and three scores, plus the date in next week's Indiana State title game. And Paul, happy to see his brother doing so well. Uh, it was streaming online. I, that's what I did last night. I watched my brother's game. Uh, did pretty amazing last night. So he's, he's awesome. <laughs> proud older brother, right? Yeah, proud older brother. 
Well, after beating their first two opponents by an average of 20 plus points a game, Saluki basketball tested their luck in Las Vegas tonight. Dogs first road game of the season against an equally deep UNLV bench and the Salukis holding their own early take a double digit lead early against the running rebels and held a three point halftime advantage things tight for most of the second half but UNLV goes on a run with about five minutes to go running rebels up, go up by 12 at one point point and despite 14 from Tony Freeman and a career high 12 from Nick Evans SIU falls 78 to 69. Another Missouri Valley scores from tonight. 10th ranked Butler visiting Evansville and Colt Ryan and the Purple Aces nearly complete the upset getting to within two points with 16 seconds left but Butler holds on 64 to 60. Illinois State shoots nearly 60% in a win over North Florida. Missouri State blasts the Citadel 77 to 55 and Akron rallies in the second half for their first win of the season as they best rake by four. And finally, Southeast Illinois hands 23rd ranked Vincennes their first loss of the season tonight. And former Saluki assistant Rodney Watson coaching in his first regular season game tonight as Southern Indiana Eagles take care of Harris Stowe State 84-61. Another former Saluki coach in action tonight, Bruce Weber and Illinois taking on Presbyterian first half. Dominique Keller with the dunk on the fast break, 9-8 Illini. Then, Freshman DJ Richardson is going to get in on the act with a three ball from the corner, putting the Illini up by two. And last year's Mr. Basketball, Brandon Paul, getting in there too with a steal and the flush. The Illini go on to bash Presbyterian 94-48. And the fourth ranked Kentucky Wildcats back in action today at the Cancun Challenge. Wildcats hosting Ryder. The freshman John Wall, a bright spot again today, getting Fancy in the lane with some spin action. The Cats up big later in the half, 33 to 18. All blowing by the Ryder defense for the finish. He led all scores with 21 points, 11 assists. Patrick Patterson, also a nice game from him. Off the block, scoops it up for the slam. Two of his 19 as Kentucky wins big, 92 to 63. And that's going to do it for us here on Saturday Sports Extra. I'll have more on Saluki football's playoff seed and first round opponent tomorrow night at 10. And also congratulations to the SIU volleyball team. They are going to the NVC Conference Volleyball Tournament later on this month. Also, don't forget NASCAR's final race of the Sprint Cup Championship Series starts tomorrow on Channel 3. But until then, good night. CSI is up next.